Since the beginning of the century, the world of football has been blessed with two of the greatest who have ever played. They've dominated trophies, statistics, thus debates. Although it's hard to decide who's better, by the end of this video, one guy will have the edge. This is the definitive comparison of Messi and Ronaldo. To find who's the better player, we'll examine four different criteria. Winning, statistics, awards, and the eye test. First off, who has won the most? Winning can't make you the greatest, but it can make you one of the greats. Simply put, winning six Champions League titles like Paolo Maldini will not make you the greatest, but sure a notable figure. With this in mind, three subpoints will be awarded in accordance with their three common competitions. European, domestic, and international. Beginning with European, the most prestigious trophy in clubs is the UEFA Champions League title. Ronaldo has won it five times, whereas Messi has won it four times. While this is the official count, we commonly subtract one from Messi since he only started two games of his first official victory. Conversely, Ronaldo's five titles came in his presence, and he won them on two different teams. That's one sub point for Ronaldo. Advancing into domestic titles, Messi has won more league titles, more domestic cups, and more domestic super cups. Hence, there goes one for Messi. Lastly, the international numbers. Starting with Messi, let's just say he's a little unfortunate. However, it didn't start out that way. He began his journey by winning the 2005 Under-20 World Cup. He followed by a gold medal at the 08 Olympics. But ultimately, his lack of performance at the 2010 World Cup hurt him. He did individually wield Argentina to the finals of the 2014 World Cup, but fell short in extra time against one of the best sides in recent history. He lost again at the 2018 World Cup in the hands of the soon-to-be champions by a score of 4-3. At South America's Continental Tournament, the Copa America, he has never won. In his four presents, he's gone to the finals two times. In each one of these, he lost in penalties. On the other hand, Ronaldo has won two major trophies the 2016 Euros and the 2019 Nations League. Even though he didn't win a single game in regular time at the 2016 Euros, the mere fact that Portugal won this tournament is enough to give him a point. According to betting websites, Portugal's odds of winning were 20 to 1 at the start. That's one point for Ronaldo which makes him the winner of my first criterion, winning. My second criterion is statistics and advanced metrics. This part is divided by scoring and shooting, assist and shot creation, and impact on the team's performance. Beginning with scoring and shooting, we notice that Ronaldo has more career goals, but he also played more games. And if we take away penalty goals, Messi already surpassed Ronaldo in 2018. Looking further into it, we find that Messi has a higher average goals per game. A common remark regarding their averages is that Ronaldo started his career in a tougher league, being the Premier League. In spite of that, if we only consider the average goals per game in the Champions League, Messi still comes out on top. His goals are also more efficient, meaning he scores them on less attempted shots per game. That brings us to accuracy metrics and yes, Messi has a higher shot on target percentage which is impressive considering his attempts come in farther from the goal as can be shown by his number of goals outside the box. Furthermore, Messi has a better conversion from just about anywhere on the field. As for free kicks, they share the same number of free kick goals, but percentages and distance tell a different story. Messi has close to twice Ronaldo's free kick conversion and his attempts come in farther than Ronaldo. Also, their path to that number is very different. At the start of his career, Messi was without a doubt a poor free-kick shooter. But recently, Messi seems to have become the best free-kick shooter ever. No trending lines could have predicted these latest numbers, he just flipped the switch. In sum, regarding scoring and shooting, even though Ronaldo is frequently referred as the better shooter or finisher, Messi has the highest average goals per game on less attempted shots. He has a better conversion from everywhere, and he's the better free kick shooter. The only metric in Ronaldo's favor is his penalty conversion. Inevitably, Messi has one point. 
For assists and shot creation, Messi has the most assists per 90 minutes. In contrast to popular beliefs, Ronaldo has some incredible numbers, but in assists, Messi is second to none, as he holds the highest career assist total. For possession and dribbling, although dribble stats only exist since 2017, Messi has always been first in every major category. Carries, total distance, total progressive distance, carries that enter the last third of the pitch, carries that enter the box, and what I'll refer as the Messi stat, the number of players dribble past. Such dribbling and passing abilities help Messi create shot options for his teammates, so of course he's going to be better than Ronaldo in goal creating actions per 90 minutes. But I'd like to point out that Messi doesn't have the highest score here. That feat belongs to Neymar. Similarly, an interesting stat word of showing is expected goals. An expected goal would be a penalty or a tap-in. An unexpected goal would be a free kick or a 20-yard carry. Thus, we measure the number of goals over the number of expected goals. Subsequently, there are some players who have negative expected goals. That would mean that they didn't capitalize on wide open nets, for example. On that note, Messi has by far the better goal over expected goals per 90 minutes. Briefly, being the better passer, dribbler and playmaker, Messi takes home this point. As for the impact on the team's performance, we measure it in a statistic called Team Success On-Off. This metric works by taking the number of goals scored per 90 minutes while the player is on the pitch, minus the number of goals scored per 90 minutes while the player is off the pitch. As a result, Messi is at 0.75 while Ronaldo is at 0.60. In other words, when Messi is on the pitch, there are 0.75 more goals being scored. Nonetheless, this metric is only available since 2014. If anything, Messi is the winner again. In 2019, a Belgian university by the name of KU Leuven published a study titled Actions Speak Louder Than Goals. In this document, the university describes assessing the impact of metrics via machine learning in a plethora of data. Their metrics compile passes by distance, dribble by distance, shots by distance, free kicks by distance, penalties, penalties provoke, interceptions, clearances, crosses, fouls, tackles, corners, and many more. There are also other components such as the game state, which calculates the value of an action based on the difficulty of scoring or defending in the game. All of these metrics are unified by the label Soccer Player Action Description Language, or SPADL for short. Thereby, when we multiply the number of actions per 90 minutes and the average value per actions, we get the ultimate number, the VAEP. Unfortunately, players' VAEP have only been calculated for the study's preceding year, which is the 2017-18 season. That said, Ronaldo has a VAEP of 0.61, but Messi has nearly twice that at 1.21. As you can see on the board, Messi is not here right now. Now he is. Although this was a sample of one single season, that won't be a problem since Messi placed fifth in the Ballon d'Or votes. That was his worst position since 2006, where he was 19 years of age. It's not that Ronaldo's bad, Messi's just really good, and if there's a way to evaluate actions on a pitch, he will tower over everybody else. As for the VAEP, it wasn't maintained for three different reasons. It's too long, too complicated, and too expensive. Until there's an advanced optical reading software that can read the pitch, 2017-18 will remain the best season for stats and we know who's at the top. In a few words, as far as stats go, Messi takes another one home. Also. If statistics is the only thing that matters, Messi is not only the greatest player of all time, but the greatest that ever will be. There will probably never be a statistical anomaly like Messi ever again. As for awards and honors, whether Messi or Ronaldo ends up winning this one, they are by far the two most individually decorated footballers of all time. With this in mind, in individual awards, most websites only consider three of them the FIFA Best, the European Golden Boot, and the Ballon d'Or. 
Summing these up would tell you that Messi has the edge, but with 13 and 14 awards, they are both lonely at the top. Starting with the Golden Boot, which rewards Europe's top goalscorer, Messi has 6 while Ronaldo has 4. As for the FIFA best, the count is 4-3 in the favor of Ronaldo. For the FIFA Pro World 11, or the Team of the Year as FIFA puts it, they both share an outstanding 14 appearances. Ronaldo was awarded the IFFHS top goalscorer of the decade, while Messi was awarded the best playmaker of the decade and the best player of the decade. Messi has won the FIFA World Cup Golden Ball in 2014, which rewards the best player in the World Cup. Ronaldo has won the Ons d'Or two times, while Messi has won it four times. That being said, the most prestigious individual honor is the Ballon d'Or. As a result, Messi has six, while Ronaldo has five. Interestingly, when Messi won his sixth Ballon d'Or separating himself from Ronaldo, it was the first time that he ever acknowledged his competitiveness with Ronaldo, saying, When Cristiano Ronaldo pulled level with me, I'll admit that it hurt a little as I was no longer alone at the top, but at that moment he deserved a Ballon d'Or and I couldn't do much more about it. As for the awards criteria, Messi wins another one. The eye test is what I would define as the best player to watch. Seeing Ronaldo is something special. He's athletic, quick and one of the better finishers. He can also use his head unlike Messi. A thing that your eyes will tell you which you won't find in numbers is that Ronaldo was probably a better player with Manchester United. Indeed his numbers weren't as good as afterwards, but he was scoring more free kicks, he dribbled a little better, he scored outside the box more frequently, he was a more skilled player all around. Yet his totals at Man United pale compared to his at Real Madrid and Juventus. The reason why would that be can also be found in the ITS. The fact of the matter is, is that Ronaldo was better surrounded in Real Madrid and Juventus. There, a high rate of his goals came via tap-in, which is the type of goals that you didn't see him score very often with the Reds. That's nothing against him, some tap-ins require a great deal of skills even if they're not as enjoyable to watch. The unpleasant side in Ronaldo's games lies in his volume of shots. As established before, compared to Messi, he has a lesser average goals per game while having the higher attempted shots per game. Sometimes he makes you wonder if his presence can hurt a possession. In contrast, Messi gets you the best play possible for every possession. His mission is to have the ball in the goal by the end of the sequence regardless of his implication. When he was somewhat of a striker in 2012, he scored an all-time record of 91 goals for the year. When he was a midfielder in 2019, he racked up an all-time record of 21 assists for a season. He is a purely positionless and selfless offensive player. Ronaldo can conclude great plays. Messi creates his own and remains the better finisher of the two. Even though they have a close percentage in successful dribbles, seeing them play will reveal you that Messi is much more venturous with the ball. As you can see here, Messi takes the ball behind midfield. He dribbles through one, two, Still with the ball. Three. And four. He enters the last third of the pitch and makes a perfect pass to his teammate. Highlights won't show that, and basic stats cannot count this action. As dominant as Messi is in statistics, numbers don't really do him justice. If Messi dribbled like everybody else, he would simply never lose the ball. Or as Ray Hudson puts it. How do you put statistics on this, Phil? This isn't measurable. Because this is the art of human. Actions like this are the reason why Messi has the higher career average match rating and likewise the highest since the metrics inception. This is also why Messi has the highest number of men of the match and incidentally, the most since the metrics inception. In the end, that tug of war is won by Messi. Ronaldo is undoubtedly one of the greatest to ever lace up. Messi is just that Asian kid that's always better than you. Although it won't affect the scoreboard, I think it's the appropriate video to talk about the people's opinion on the topic. 
In the light of this video, I made a list of every known players, managers, owners and commentators who expressed their side on the Messi-Ronaldo debate. Here's all the people I've found. Now, in all 141 personalities, 110 voted for Messi and 31 for Ronaldo. That is, if we account everybody mentioned. If we subtract the ones who played or coached one or the other to erase any possible conflict of interest, it's now 89 to 10. As for the public, the largest poll on the internet is found on the Messi vs Ronaldo website, accounting for more than 1 million voices. Messi has 655,000 of them, while Ronaldo has 360,000. In other words, it's 65% to 35%. To finish, as I have the word GOAT in the title, some of you are probably irritated, mainly because of two greats, Pele and Maradona. On that account, how do Messi and Ronaldo compare to them? Let's see. Starting off with Maradona. Both Messi and Ronaldo have better stats than him all across the board. In fact, they both have more than twice Maradona's goals total. That being said, when Maradona carried his team to a World Cup win, he seemed to be the greatest ever. But he didn't maintain that level of playing outside the World Cup. You can see here that Maradona doesn't really rival Messi and Ronaldo's goals per 90 minutes. Stats don't really put Maradona in the debate. He was more of a showman, just like Ronaldinho for a more recent example. And as for his longevity, how much can we blame Flower? In my eyes, his career totals are simply insufficient. Conversely, with Pele, I'll start by saying this. In the years to come, as sports hold more history, GOAT debates will shift from the best player ever to the best player relative to his peers. Nowadays, of course players run faster, jump higher, shoot better. Is Messi a better player than Pele ever was? Probably. But if the GOAT debate is about the most dominating player respective to his era, we have a debate. Three World Cups are hard to come by in any era. As for their stats, at least the one they share, they're pretty similar. But in recent history, Pele has made a fool of himself. For over 40 years, Pele held the record for the most goals total and the most goals total for one club. In a span of two weeks, Messi broke one and Ronaldo the other. In the light of these achievements, Pele, with the help of his former club Santos, released a statement saying that his club total at Santos was actually in four figures, at 1091 goals. He also updated his Instagram bio saying that his goals total stands at 1283. The thing is that 526 gold of that number would have come from unofficial friendlies and tour games. Funny enough, he even counted games he played in a military competition. In the eyes of the level-minded, Pele has 644 for a single club and 757 for a career. He is great, but not unreachable. Thank you for making it till the end. This is the first major video on this channel. I don't know if I'm gonna make another one. Leave a like if you will. It truly helps.